everybody, this is Ogini Supreme here with another tutorial on how to program in turn. So today I'm going to go through GUI and how to use it. So what is GUI? Well that's basically like creating buttons, creating labels, and uh, lists, checkboxes, and stuff like that. Very useful stuff. So this tutorial I'm only going to go through creating buttons. That I believe is the most basic thing with GUI. So GUI is basically like its own file. So in order to use GUI, we need to to uh, import it because it's another file. So we type the keyword import and then GUI, all in capitals. So now we have the GUI file, and keep in mind this import line has to be at the top. So now let's just create like a variable like x and y. I'll show you what what this is later. And then let's make a procedure that draws a random circle. So now that I have my procedure, it's time to make a button. Because buttons is like when you click them, it does a certain code. And that has to be a procedure. So to make a button, we make a, a variable I'll call it button. We have to make it equal an integer and initialize it like this to be GUI dot create button like this. So now we're gonna have a bunch of values to type in. So the first one is our x coordinate, so 50, and then our y coordinate, so let's make that 50. This is this is the lower left corner always. And then we're going to have a width. So this is basically the width plus the text that's going to be in the button. So if I put zero like this, the width is actually not going to be zero. All that means is it's just going to be the width of the text. So if I, I have the text like this, draw, and then I'm going to have my procedure that it runs. Like that. So now to be able to use this, we have to make a loop. And we have to make an exit statement that looks like this. Exit when GUI dot process event. Like this. Basically this is like, so what this means is if you uh, have a button that says quit and it has a procedure that says quick, then it'll go, okay, that's a process event, so let's leave. Let's see if it works. working. It's drawing circles. Now if we want to. Oh, what just happened? Well, if you look, the code changed. Not really. All it did was it opened up the GUI file called widget module. It looks kind of complex. Even I don't understand what this is saying. It's just a GUI file. So if I were you, I wouldn't touch any of it. And I'm not joking around. Another way to make a button is create button full, like this. So this is another way to create buttons, which helps customize how you make it. So this uses more parameters. So the next one is going to be the height plus the text. It's the same thing with the width. So if you set it to zero, it's going to be the height of the text. And then we're going to have our shortcuts. Like this. So let's say I make it D. Then I have a boolean. So this is basically just saying is this like the default button? So if you run it. Now if you could tell there's a thicker black border around it. So if I were to get rid of this true, make it false. Black border is not there anymore. So now let's make a button that quits the whole program. So let's make a button, a button 2, let's say. And then the procedure is going to be gui.quit, like this. So now if I run it, we do some drawing and I press quit, it's now finished. Also, if you notice, the, uh, the other file did not open because I didn't interrupt the program by doing it like that. I actually use the quit button 
which ended the whole program. So that's how the whole quitting thing works. And you can make as many buns as you want to, or as you need to. So you're not limited to just one or two buttons, you can make infinity. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like, you can subscribe to my channel, and I promise very soon I'll try and make more GUI tutorials. This is Ogany Supreme, logging out.